In today's program, Master of Crafts, we will tell you about table games in Fantastic Worlds, how hobby of one man became an entire universe for those who are into strategic games. Can people all over the world take interest in a modern strategy game developed in Ukraine? UATV is discovering modern amusements with the most advanced special effects in one's imagination. Master of Crafts Nowadays, the game industry offers people more and more ways to immerse into a world of virtual reality. But it turns out that not all people are ready to dive headfirst into such a virtual world. For thousands of years, people have managed to get by without a special environment for games. A board with figures was enough for them to test their intellect and enjoy the game. They created all the rest in their imagination, but people are capable of doing more than the fastest computer can. According to the Euromonitor International World Agency, sales profits of modern table games and a variety of puzzles have increased from 9.3 billion US dollars in 2013 to 9.6 billion dollars in 2016, which is by more than 3%. And these numbers continue to rise. Game industry analysts predict that the sales revenues will consistently increase by 1% per year, mainly thanks to young people. As it turns out, generations of the late 20th century either experience nostalgia for table games and puzzles or mind twisters from childhood, or just want to spend their time with their friends playing classical board games as opposed to virtual ones. There are thousands of different board games in the world. Young and ambitious Ukrainian game masters have also developed such games in 2018, planned to release a multifaceted fantastic strategy. We design board games in Ukraine and want to show them to the whole world. Anton Kudin and Ivan Chernikov are ready to present to board game players a universe in which they will seek the path to their own goal and will think as true military leaders. Besides that, none of them will be able to play several times in the same manner. The most interesting in this game as in any game and strategy of the RPG genre, is that fact that you can create your own character and gain a few of professional skills which have different combinations. Even if you have already played this game 20 times, all the same, you will not be able to master how to play in every class. How did a passive involvement in board games turn into their lifetime work? What are the differences and similarities between the virtual world of Talos and the real world? What tasks must be solved by board game designers and why does it remind us of debugging of nuclear reactor? To find out, watch further in the program. 24 figurines and a square chessboard. Today, this well-known board game is considered a kind of sport. Chess is a so-called mathematical duel between two brilliant minds and it seems that it has nothing to do with modern frivolous board games. However, a few people know that original chess duels were totally different. Earlier, four players participated in this game instead of two. Each of them had his own set of figurines and moves were based on the toss of the dice. This is Chaturanga, an Indian board game for several players which was invented 1500 years ago. The author of the game is unknown, but it is clear that he wanted to create a more complex and interesting game than backgammon. He succeeded by setting rules and moves of each figure on a board, which was not much different from chess. A few years ago, Anton Kudin presented an entertaining board game to his friends, just to entertain them. At that time, I knew almost nothing about the world of board games. I had never visited any chess clubs. As a rule, we gathered at home to play some games. I tried to think up some interesting games so we could play it several times and not become bored with the board. Anton immediately began to create a world where these battles could take place. If chess and chaturanga include a conventional check and its troops, then that is not enough for modern board games. A player should not only have to solve strategic tasks, but also be immersed in an environment in which it is interesting to interact. This is exactly how World of Talos that Anton created in his student years appeared. Once the only world survived a terrible apocalypse and was scattered into a multitude of separate worlds, you as a player must seek a safe place for your people amidst all this chaos. It is possible to rectify all of its consequences. The main goal is to reach the capital of the destroyed world, the city of Talos, and become its ruler. Such a multifaceted universe is an excellent backdrop for creating different games. Their magic and battles go hand in hand with each other. 
Moreover, Anton thought out the history of the world over several hundreds of years. However, he could not immediately embody his concept of this board game in life as he was short of money. Instead, he created a simpler game under the title Talos Arena. By the rules of the game, a player seemingly occupies the capital of the world and tries to resolve all of its problems. To make a decorative design, the creator of this game raised money through crowdfunding. I participated in different festivals, visited different clubs and tested my game for two years. Besides, I showed it to fanatics of board games. You've never played it. Try, maybe you will like it. I came to a festival, put my game on a table, played with people, and in a week they remembered me and contributed money. The first game was released in a small print run and only in Ukraine. The second one, which was expected to be produced in 2017, attracted a serious publisher. This was when Ivan Chernikov joined Anton, and they started preparing the project Talos, the crash, for release. Especially for the UATV channel, they agreed to share some details about their game technique before the premiere and open a veil of secrecy about the creation of board games. How it's made. The real world simplifies the work of the creators of the game. They already know what happened there and by what laws it lives by. But all the same, they have to create a new game series and do everything possible so that insightful fans will not get bored playing our game. The goal is clear to reach the center of the map. But what path should we take? At the beginning of the game you get bonuses. After that you enter different worlds and defeat different creatures. The complexity of the worlds increases as you progress through the game. You almost always defeat the very weak creatures, but there are also unsuccessful moments. When you come closer to the center of the world, the capital, Talos, the creatures become so strong that you will hardly be able to defeat them without special training. <laughs> it is similar to a military campaign of a specific prince or a provincial ruler of the capital of a divided kingdom to occupy a throne. This is a typical historical situation for approximately a 200-year period of the Middle Ages. However, not only a living being can be a claimant to the crown in the fantastic world of Talos. In the game there is the race of the Morags, which was created by the God of War. They only feel normal in battle. The God of Order created the race of the Supremes. Harmony and order prevail in their world. People were created by the God of Greed, because they always lack something. The fourth race in the game is Necromancers, who were taken over by the God of the Cycles. Therefore, they come back to life after death in some magical way. In the future, Anton is going to add two other races to the game. He is very inspired by the deeds of the Ukrainian Cossacks. Another race is Jijits, but they will not be present in the primary version of the game. They have the most complex skills and beginners can hardly understand all of their features, so we introduce all the Cossacks in the game later. Each race is divided into eight classes. Besides, a player gets a random combination of startup skills. In addition to that, he or she can line up a playing field for every round in a different way in accordance with the degree of complexity. All the facts provided a strong basis so that a team of four persons would not be able to get to Talos several times in the same way. At the beginning, they separately fight against monsters from transit worlds. Is it really interesting to put the cards out on the table and try to calculate the impact parameters alone? It's like playing chess alone. The designers understood this quite well and found a brilliant solution to this problem. By the principles of mechanics, it is impossible to create monsters that can move independently. Accordingly, someone else makes the moves for them. This can be one of the players to your right or left who are also interested in winning the game. Therefore, your opponent fights against you. Coming down on the side of the creatures, he tries to inflict as much damage to you as possible. The player receives a local currency, mana, as a reward for a successful battle. Besides, the player also has a chance to gain new bonuses that will be useful for him or her in the following battles. The main task of the designers is for players to sense progress, not in the number of cards, rather in their value. At first glance, it seems, you can think up as many bonuses as you wish, and all will turn out fine. If the creators apply this principle, the game would be too simple. I know from my own experience, when game fanatics buy board games, they face a constant problem. The game includes 200, 300 or 400 cards, and all of them are cool. You play, and after the fifth game, you understand that you want to hold in your hands only five Five cards of 200 that you were dealt. It is not so difficult to think up a creative strategy. It is actually more difficult to develop a rational and intelligent strategy that would include all the necessary elements that the players of this game want to have in their favor and so that they would be fair to the player. 
if a chess horse could jump over all the figures, it would have been preferred instead of a queen. But it is one thing to invent ways to move on a board with 64 cells, and it is totally another thing to balance hundreds of parameters. It reminds you of debugging of a nuclear reactor. If something goes wrong, it will turn off and burn to the core. In the world of board games, these are analogs to the loss of interest and outbursts of anger because of unfair distribution of cards or bonuses. The players themselves help Anton and Ivan to avoid such an irreversible reaction. We have a system of ratings. In other words, every person who goes through our testing gives his or her grade to one or another skill, on a scale of 1 to 5. We have a comparative table of grades. Each skill in the graph has an average index. If the skill is lower than a grade of 4 or 3.5, it will be replaced by another grade. In this context, a board game is similar to a computer game. It can be corrected and made more fair and balanced after its release. Although designers have already well thought out all the fights against monsters, they needed to make sure that all the parameters are perfect for the grand finale, the final battle to the end, meaning to victory. Even if you conquered Talos, it is not the destination of the game. When it seems to you that you have already caught your breath, then you enter the city and meet three opponents that survived and want to defeat you. And the most interesting things are happening exactly there at that moment, because prior to reaching Talos, you fought against opponents that live and breathe on artificial intelligence. The final stage of Talos, the crash, is like the ancient Chaturanga. The difference is that every player has an individual set of figures and skills. At this stage of the game, players get into some huge space where they have to apply their strategy. Every time they must reach the center of the map in a different way, taking into consideration all of their previous mistakes. It is not the case where you can win if you choose the class of a commander and gain two skills. There is no such thing. You can find these two skills, but they can only scarcely be combined with your race. There is really an almost no way out situation. In addition to that, you will need some other artifacts. In other words, you have more than one or even more than five ways of how to develop your character. In the same way, a chess grandmaster differs from a beginner with his ability to see all the variants of how the game will proceed several moves ahead and anticipate the competitor's moves. Besides Besides that, victory of one strong competitor does not disappoint defeated rivals, but instead gives them inspiration to play better and appreciate the moves the opponent made to win the game. After three and a half hours of battle, Mitchell won the game Talos, The Crash, which was recorded on cameras of UATV. I chose an Arch Magician. This is a class in the game that allows a player to use more spells and spend less mana. Mana is a monetary unit used in this game. In the final, I used several spells that restored the strength of my warrior and helped me strike a decisive blow to my opponent. A diverse and fascinating game designed by intelligent and understanding people, this is a real strategic game that can draw the interest of millions of people around the world. We're going to enter a world market, because the board game is very complex. A person who plays simple games that take a couple of hours will not buy this game. Those people who like to think will more likely take interest in this game. There are a lot of such people in Ukraine, but their number is even greater around the world. So not only will this new Ukrainian board game about the conquest of the world be translated into English, but would also be illustrated. At the beginning of 2018, the production of this board game will be in full swing. In his turn, Anton promises that a lot of surprises are expected for the players. In Ukraine, this hobby is just starting to develop, but the world is constantly moving ahead. The creators of this game introduce new mechanics and combinations. The quality of board game elements is also changing. Nowadays, designers can make cool figures for a board game that will immerse the player into the virtual world faster. We we'll also try to keep up with the times. We are going to introduce an element that will simplify the game and surprise all these players all around the world, but let it be our secret. Показать не можем, буде приємно сюрприз для гравця.